Well, good morning from the Fat Man Falls campsite in Tamagami. It is 637. Temperature is fairly pleasant and um, it is raining on and off still this morning. It kind of stopped raining around, um, started at 11 last night and then it stopped um, around 4 and it's just been kind of dripping here and there. Um, as long as these rocks are wet, I am not going anywhere. So um, I'm going to go back to sleep for a bit or maybe read my book and uh, just relax in the tent and enjoy a leisurely morning. Good morning. It is about quarter after seven. Um, I got up at quarter to seven. Um, I had got up two or three times to go to the privy last night. Um, I got some nice bags under my eyes as you can see. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I had a good sleep mostly. Uh, it started raining about 11 o'clock last night and rained on and off throughout the night and then I couldn't tell anymore if it was the trees or raining so um, I think it stopped around four or five and um, now I'm just waiting for things to dry up. Uh, it is overcast, it is supposed to rain today most of the day, there are thunder and lightning warnings and of course this is the forecast that I took on Friday morning before I got here so I don't know if that's still true or not um, but as long as the rocks here are wet I'm not going anywhere. I walked over to get the bear vaults and uh, going to the privy, just walking around on these rocks, even the rock right in front of my tent, super slippery. Like I've slipped twice getting out of my tent. Um, so I'm not taking any chances going down that steep, steep hill with two bags um, until the weather clears up. And uh, that's the luxury I have. I did build extra days into this trip for stuff like this. So um, I'm going to sit here and uh, relax. I'm going to um, have some oatmeal and uh, I made a ginger tea because my throat has been sore when I've woken up the last two or three days. Uh, I took a Tylenol sinus and uh, an allergy pill. I have allergies in the fall and I usually wake up with a sore throat um, for a couple of weeks and then it just kind of goes away as the day starts. So um, I'm hoping it's nothing major and uh, I'm fine but uh, I'm going to get some more rest while I have the, uh, the time to do so and um, there's not really much I can do until this uh, rain clears up. Just an update on my tent. Um, that spot that I had the leak last trip, um, I sprayed it with waterproofing. I sprayed the whole, all the seams um, with waterproofing. Uh, I also pulled the fly down tighter because um, it was up a bit and uh, I think that's where the water was getting in. So um, I have absolutely no water in my tent and uh, it is comfy cozy in here. This privy is like brand, brand new. Um, you know, I'm just sitting here thinking about whoever brought this in. I mean, this is all wood that is brought in and the chain and the, fa um, the hinges, it's all brought in. Um, even if it was Hap and it was flown into his cabin, you still have to bring it down that treacherous um, portage from Cabin Falls. And uh, I'm told by both him and Andrea that his side is not much different than the other side, the side that I did, except they have stairs in one section. Um, or you have to come up what I went down with the canoe yesterday. So huge, huge thank you to the people that do this for us. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. Thank you. Well, it's 8.37 and it's just started pouring. So all the drying that was going on has now been uh, washed away, so to speak. And uh, I'm gonna take a longer nap. <laughs> well, it rained quite a bit um, since I had breakfast. Uh, this was just a wee little puddle at that point. Um, it was like this last night, but it had dried up already, almost all, all of it. Um, I just woke up and it is 10 to 10 and the sun is shining and uh, it's a little bit windy. Um, there's supposed to be some high gusts, but I'm in the river today. Um, so hopefully it won't be too hard um, to paddle. Plus I don't uh, think it's supposed to be a tailwind. Um, anyways, I am going to start packing up 
in hopes that uh, these rocks dry up and um, it doesn't rain again. Well, I think maybe I was being a little bit too enthusiastic <laughs> um, when I just made that video. I got up, I went to the privy, I came back out. Um, there are lots of dark clouds coming and uh, the wind is gusting pretty good. So I'm just going to wait for a bit before I start packing. I want to pack everything up and then have it just pour on me again and have to unpack and put my tent back up. So I'm going to wait until these rocks dry. That's the main goal here. Um, okay, it's like this one here. How slippery this is. Look at it. It's like, it's almost like it's slimy, like there's something on it. See? <laughs> and it's super, super slippery. Well, I slowly kicked my way through the rocks. Um, there's lots of uh, moss and grassy spots in between from the tent down to the lake uh, where I can kind of go without walking on the rocks. They're slipping, so I had to get some more water, so I just did that and filled up my bottle. All right, hello, good morning. I'm all twisted. Uh, it's about 20 to 12. I'm all packed up. Um, the rocks are as dry as they're going to be for now. Uh, it hasn't rained in a while. Um, I think 9.30, was around the last time it started, uh, rained. Um, so it's been a couple hours. I can feel a difference walking around the rocks on camp. They're not like as slippery as they were. They're still slippery, but they're not as bad. So I'm just going to be very, very careful and take my time going down. I do have the backpack and the little backpack that I take with the canoe because obviously I didn't bring it yesterday with the canoe because I had all the food in there. Um, so I'm going to carry uh, the big pack pack on my back, obviously. I strapped my water bottle to it already. And then I've got the little backpack and I've strapped the other water bottle to it. Um, I just treated the water with Purinize because my Lark was uh, dead and I had to plug it in to charge it. And um, I wasn't sure if I was going to be here all day or not. So I don't want to waste the water. Um, so I'm going to carry it down with me. So here we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is what I did when I ran those rapids um, at the Florence Lake trip. I'm going to um, put the camera in my selfie stick down my um, life jacket. It's driving me nuts. Down here in the front. See how it's sitting? And then it's going to face out like this. And we'll see if I can get any footage of me going down. I'm not going to fiddle with it. I'm not going to worry about it. If I don't get anything, I don't get anything. But I'll give it a try. I mean, it's just sitting on me. It's not obstructing me or anything like that. So, wow, I still look tired. Eh? <laughs> I feel good though. I feel way better than I did when I got here yesterday. I was not in good shape yesterday when I got here, so uh, I feel really refreshed. I only have three portages to do to get to Willow. If I make it to that campsite on Willow, I will be very happy. Let's see how it goes. I'm going down. I'm procrastinating. I got to go down those rocks. All right. I know they're not that bad. I've done it already with a canoe, so I know I can do it, so I'm not super anxious. Okay. Camera's on. Hopefully you can see. Got it angled down a bit. Okay. I haven't got to the hard part yet. I put it on early, so don't have to worry about it. This bag is heavy to carry by hand. Okay, here we go. Do that. Okay. Here we go. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, I should have went that way. That's nice. Uh, okay, we'll go this way. <clears throat> the selfie stick is telescopic, so I also extended the um, pole so that so that uh, my shoe came off. <laughs> that it won't fall out. Sorry about 
my breathing. I'll try not to breathe. <laughs> bag at some point and just come back and get it. There's my canoe. It's still there. It's a good sign. <laughs> Super steep. It's not actually. I mean it is, but you know. I've been there done that yesterday. Way worse. Those Tylenols work wonders. <laughs> My legs were so sore last night. They're so much better today. Ugh. See, even the stuff like the pine needles and stuff, when they get wet, they get slippery. Like they just go down with you. <sighs> One more level? Two more levels. <laughs> One more level. Ooh, lots of water here. Okay, I remember this way. I went up and around this rock. Okay, um, it's too bad I have a rope on this. I could just drop it down. I do actually have a rope. Oh, it's just trip, Bob. <laughs> I've been keeping these little ropes uh, handy in case I needed them to tie the canoe or tie me or tie my stuff or whatever. So, tie it to my pack. <laughs> forget to let the slack go. Let's get burned on my hand. There. It's down now. I just have to get down there. Um, like, oh, hold on. I think I took the little footsteps there yesterday, but um, with the rocks being wet, I don't think I want to try that. So, just go this way. Okay. Just put your foot somewhere and go. There we go. on the rock and then hung my legs down. Okay. Here, I made it. I made it. Mm -hmm. My bag. My bag. Did it. Okay. That was fun. Okay, just have to untie the 700 <laughs> little spots I tied my rope and or my boat and und uh, get all the rocks off my paddles. I'm gonna put the boat right here and uh, off I go. Yes. From the bottom of the Fat Man's Falls, I say farewell. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, go out to the water here and film the falls from uh, the water view. And uh, then I'm gonna make my way to the next portage. I don't think it's very far, surprisingly. All right, I'm at Fat Man's Falls at the bottom. 
took me 10 minutes to get down with the two packs and uh, another 10 minutes to get the canoe unsecured from where it was and um, get my bags in it and take off. So um, I am now on my way. Back on the river. It's 24 hours later. <laughs> hours or something. It was a good rest. I needed that. My body needed to recharge itself. I hear the waterfalls already so I'm probably like already at the next portage or pretty close to it. Better look for the sign. Okay there's the falls and the portage is right over there. If this portage is anything like this awesome landing <laughs> that is like unbelievably awesome, um, I'm be thrilled. I'm like thrilled already. Oh, that was just so nice after doing what I just did to just, I mean, it was still, there's always tricks in tomography, you know, but it wasn't too bad at all. I know the rocks are starting, but it's not too bad either. So. Look at this, it's really pretty here. Like I said, everything is so lush and green. It's just gorgeous. And now the sun's shining on and off. So that's great. I'm a happy, happy girl. Oh, lots of rocks, look. Yay. <laughs> All right. I am at the other end. Six minutes to do a 300 meter. Joy. I remember those days. <laughs> okay, put the canoe in here in this lovely spot. Okay, off I go to get the canoe. These are the kind of rocky portages I was hoping for because you can step in between the rocks. You don't actually have to walk on them. And when sometimes I do stick my foot on one of them, I'll get one of those slidey things, you know, like I'm about to wipe out. So. These are perfect for a day like today. I remember when I used to get to come to Tomogamy in my first year, my first trip, I was like, oh my God, these are terrible. <laughs> oh, compared to like yesterday and today, this is just like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, is this 12.35? Uh, I landed at the portage while I had my boat pulled up and uh, took a picture of it at 12.14. So it took me like just over 20 minutes um, from landing. So that's awesome. I am on my way to the next one. The Jeff's map says it's 75 meters. Uh, the FOT map says it's a one, uh, 100 meters. So hopefully it's just not a, a rock hop or a boulder garden. And uh, it's like this one. I'd be thrilled if it was like this. Um, yeah, off I go. Well, just after that portage, portage is right there, there's a campsite here. And it's on the map, but um, I was led to believe it wasn't here, but it's here. Pretty cool, looks nice. I'm not staying there though, I'm moving on. Well, it's good to know if I would have carried on yesterday that uh, I would have had a portage like that, which was lovely something super crazy. Let's see what happens at the next one. <laughs> I was wrong. I could not see it from the other portage. I thought I could, but I have to go through. It looks like a little lake, but it's still part of the river, obviously. It's at the other end in the corner. The wind right now is kicking. Not too bad. better not <laughs> so over there we go I'm not going to use the portage system on this one I'm just going to carry the canoe 
but I will take the bags first just to make sure it's not too crazy. I feel truly spoiled right now. This is like almost like a sand beach takeout. Wow, amazing. It's like being rewarded after doing all that crazy stuff. Thank you. Both of my hands were occupied because I had the uh, small backpack in the one hand <laughs> um, and the paddle and the yoke in the other, but it's like my birthday. Look at this, another one. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, that took me five minutes, which is funny because it took me six minutes to do a 300 meter, but uh, I don't know. Maybe my calculations are off. Look at this. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, and these things. Look at these. Aren't they cool? Right there. Better not touch them just in case of poisonous or something, but like some kind of weird mushroom. Anytime you guys see anything like that, and I don't know what it is, please feel free to like um, offer advice and let me know. Oh, this is how I got off the trail. Oh, I don't know. I was looking at mushrooms. <laughs> Alright, I'm back on the water. It took me 10 minutes from start to like right now, <laughs> which is great. The camera's crooked somehow. There we go. Um, you know, sometimes the videos are a little crooked or whatever. Please, I hope you guys overlook that. You know, I'm not a film filmographer or a professional movie maker. Um, you know, I'm out here for the adventure and I'm filming it because I love to to do this. I love to make videos and stuff and film and it feels like I'm not alone sometimes when I'm with you guys, even though nobody's here, I'm talking to you um, and then you see it later. So, um, okay, apparently there's a couple of uh, small swifts um, that I'm going to go through in this next little part. So um, I'm going to pay close attention and uh, I've also got a tailwind pushing me now, it seems, somehow. <laughs> so um, I just gotta be really, really careful. So uh, I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled and uh, off I go. And uh, I just realized that it's almost one o'clock and I'm missing lunch. So um, I threw a Snickers in my pocket. I brought four of them for the trip, for the hard days and then whatever was extra. Um, so I'm gonna just munch on this while I'm paddling and uh, have lunch after I finish the next portage or when I get to Willow I'm not sure we we'll see how long it takes but um, when there's supposed to be a thunderstorm and you get weather like this you just go right I mean in my opinion that's what I do I just I just go because I want to get to where I'm going and not get caught up in any bad weather I mean if it's nice I can keep going um, but if it isn't then you know at least I've made it to where I was supposed to before I got stuck somewhere in a thunderstorm so okay off I go Okay, I have some, uh, I think low water spots here. I might have to get out and pull the canoe. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it through. I don't know how, how much I ate this week, I guess. And uh, there's some swifts up ahead there, and I think that's where the portage goes around, but uh, I'm not sure. Somebody said that there are a couple that you might have to run, and they're just small or drag the boat through them, so I guess I'll see when I get up there. Looks pretty shallow from here. Okay, well I am not at the portage yet. <laughs> so these must be the ones that I'm, are supposed to be runnable when I drag the canoe through. So um, I'm going to give her, I'm going to put this in my life jacket. Apologize for any weird filming. Shit. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, just follow the dark water. Dark water. Dark water, dark water. Stay to the right. Oh my god. So scary. Right, right, right. Oh, paddle, paddle. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, okay. That wasn't too bad. There was a lot of white water, and I thought there were rocks there, but there weren't. I thought the rocks were in the white water. So, like, that rock's sticking out. Oh, dear. Okay. Yes. It was 
wasn't too bad. Ooh. See, when I did the ones at White Rock, which I'm told are just a trickle, <laughs> um, I went up them first and I walked them up and I went through on my way in. So it wasn't as scary when I ran them because I, um, I knew them, right? I didn't know these at all. I've never, I have all the maps like from Hap's book and stuff, but I didn't study them because I wasn't planning on writing anything. So, <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I should be at the next portage very soon. <laughs> well, that was pretty fun. <laughs> um, apparently I have two more of those. One before the portage and one after the portage. Um, before I get to Willow, so. Hopefully they're not all that big. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. I'm just scared I'm gonna like smash into a rock and break the canoe and then be stuck out here with no way to get home. I don't recommend running rapids or anything like that. I just, um, there was no way around that. I was just there and I don't, I don't even know if that would even be classified as like a level one or a two, like a, or a class one or a class two, like more just like an angry swift I don't know anyway I'm coming up to the portage I think very soon and um, the winds are getting stronger uh, I was eating my Snickers there and um, I wasn't paddling I was just sitting and the wind almost grabbed my paddle and took it and then it just pushed the boat like whew, across the water um, sideways so you really have to be alert pay attention um, well, my map says I'm already on the portage. I can't find a sign. So I just got these little swifts here. Doesn't look like anything too crazy. So I think I'm just going to go down them. <laughs> don't really have a choice because I don't have a, a, a sign or a portage to do. So I might miss that one or maybe it's just farther down on the map. I wanted to, uh, the plan was to take a whitewater course this, uh, this year, in the spring or the summer. Um, but then with COVID going on, I didn't even attempt to like look anything up in the spring. Um, and obviously didn't do one because of all that's going on. So I really would like to take one very soon. Uh, I'm gonna be out in places like this where I might accidentally do one. I'd like to know what I'm doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, well, this is pretty nice. Apparently there's some campsite. Oh, here's a campsite right here. Doesn't look very well used. <laughs> Should never know what's up there. There's a sign further up too. Maybe it's in the forest. Now. Well, according to my map, I did indeed totally miss the 140 meter portage. Um, it does look like there is one more swift before I get to Willow. And that should be it. So, keep my eyes out for that and just be prepared. <laughs> this looks beautiful coming up here. The wind is being blocked by a um, big cliff on the left by the looks of it. Supposed to be a little swift up here somewhere. And then there's like, I don't know, two or three campsites till the one that I was told is a really nice one to stay at. So maybe I'll just stop there and have lunch and contemplate, or maybe I'll keep going. Let's see what the wind is like and the direction. And I am very sheltered in here. I can hear it, it's really loud, but. I've only been hit by it a couple of times in this river, so... Oh, that is just beautiful. Wow! I love cliffs like that. Oh wow, look at this! This is beautiful! Oh my gosh! Wow! Oh! Here I'm bracing myself for a swift, and I come around the corner and see this gorgeousness. Wow, this is so nice! There's a campsite right there. Looks really cool. You get to see all this. Okay. I'm gonna head to that campsite and my lunch, I think. I was gonna say.
stop here. I thought, oh, you know what? Let's stop here and have lunch. So, from what I can tell, this is the campsite. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle to uh, get the canoe back here. Um, I had gone past the site. To, oh, that was just past this rock here. And I said, oh, I'll turn around. And then the wind gusted and just started to try to blow me into the, the rocks there. Um, and flip me around. Um, I've learned to kind of push my packs in certain ways when the wind pushes me. So I just put the little backpack right up in the bow and I push the big one into the stern right at the point as far as I can go and uh, it seems to help me a lot. It doesn't seem that bad. So I'm going to have lunch here and I'm going to make my way to that campsite that I'm that I was aiming for yesterday. I just looked at my clock and I was like, oh, it's 140. You know, I really need to eat lunch. And then I thought, I left Fat Man's at like noon. I haven't even been like traveling for two hours today, but it feels like so long for some reason. It's really weird. Um, anyways, I'm gonna have my lunch. Um, I do have tuna and like different things to eat, just for the record. Um, but I'm really liking this salami. Um, the one that I bought is really good. Um, so I'm just gonna have some salami and cheese again today. Uh, you know, if it, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So I'm just gonna have that. And uh, hopefully these clouds clear up so I can get some sunshine because it's kind of chilly when there's no sun. It's really windy right here. Uh, I think it's because it's coming down the, the river here and it's like a little wind tunnel. Um, it's kind of like made me second guess paddling the rest of the way to the campsite. But when I look at the water, it's pretty calm. There's no white caps. There's not even any waves on it. So I think once I get like just past this campsite, I should be good. Now the campsite that I'm aiming to stay at um, is only two campsites down. It's maybe two, around two kilometers or so. So it's only gonna take me like 20 minutes, half an hour to get there, if that. Okay, it is two o'clock and I'm back in the canoe. Um, just sitting in that little corner where I pulled off. Uh, waiting for the next big huge wind gusts. They seem to come in like patterns, so I've been watching them when I was uh, eating lunch. Just waiting for uh, the next one to pass. The wind is definitely not that bad as it was on that campsite. so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.